Imagine zooming above traffic in your own flying car. Sounds like science fiction, right? For decades, the concept of flying cars has been a fixture of our collective imagination, gracing the pages of science fiction novels and lighting up the silver screen in futuristic blockbusters. Yet, it's not all fantasy. The relentless march of technology has started to turn this dream into a reality. In recent years, a host of companies have been pushing the boundaries of what's possible, developing prototypes that hint at a not-so-distant future where the sky is filled with personal flying vehicles. These aren't just glorified helicopters or drones, but true flying cars, designed to take off and land vertically, navigate cityscapes, and fold up for easy parking. So, have you ever wondered how these futuristic machines actually work? Stay tuned as we delve into the mechanics of flying cars, exploring the technology that powers them and the challenges that lie ahead. Flying cars, or VTOLs, vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, operate on a simple yet sophisticated principle. So how do these futuristic machines work? Let's break it down. At their core, flying cars are like helicopters that can also fly like airplanes. They take off and land vertically, hence the term VTOL. But once they're in the air, they transition to forward flight. This is where the magic happens. Just like a bird, a flying car needs wings to fly. These wings provide lift, but unlike a bird's wings, they also house the propulsion system. This system is typically composed of multiple small rotors or jet engines that can tilt or rotate. When the car is taking off or landing, the rotors or engines point upwards, providing vertical lift. Once the car is in the air, they swivel to a horizontal position, pushing the car forward, much like a plane. But what powers these rotors or engines? Well, that's where the energy sources come in. Currently, most designs use electric motors powered by batteries. This is because electric motors are more efficient, quieter, and cleaner than combustion engines. Plus, they can be controlled with incredible precision, which is crucial for the complex maneuvers that flying cars need to perform. Now, you might be wondering, what about safety? After all, driving a car is one thing, but flying one is quite another. Well, don't worry, flying cars have a range of safety mechanisms. For example, they have redundant systems, so if one part fails, another can take over. They also have parachutes that can deploy in case of a catastrophic failure. And finally, many designs include autonomous capabilities to reduce the chance of human error. In conclusion, flying cars are more than just a sci-fi fantasy. They're a testament to human ingenuity, combining principles of aerodynamics, advanced engineering, and safety to create a vehicle that can take to the skies. It's not magic, it's just advanced engineering and a bit of aerodynamics. Um, flying cars sound fantastic, but they come with their own set of challenges and benefits. Let's dive into the world of flying cars and explore the flip sides of this futuristic concept. First, let's talk about the advantages. Picture this. You're living in a world where traffic jams are a thing of the past. With flying cars taking to the skies, our roads would be much less congested, leading to smoother and faster commutes. Instead of spending hours stuck in traffic, you could be zipping through the air, reaching your destination in a fraction of the time. This could revolutionize the way we travel and significantly reduce the stress associated with daily commuting. Moreover, flying cars could also provide a sustainable solution to the problem of long-distance travel. By leveraging the airspace, we could cover vast distances without the need for extensive infrastructure like roads or railways. This could open up new avenues for travel and make remote locations more accessible. But, as with any cutting-edge technology, there are also challenges to consider. One of the main concerns is safety. How can we ensure that these flying vehicles won't collide with each other or with buildings? What happens in case of an emergency landing? These are critical questions that need to be addressed. Noise pollution is another concern. Flying cars are likely to be louder than traditional vehicles, and the constant buzzing in the sky could become a significant nuisance. Then there are the regulatory hurdles. Setting up traffic rules for the sky is a complex task that involves a multitude of factors and stakeholders. Lastly, the cost factor cannot be overlooked. Developing, producing, and maintaining flying cars could be an expensive affair, potentially making them an unaffordable luxury for many. Like any revolutionary technology, flying cars present a mix of exciting prospects and daunting challenges. As we move towards a future where flying cars could become a reality, it's essential to balance the allure of innovation with the practical considerations that come along with it. So, are flying cars the future of transportation? Let's dive into this question. The transportation sector is on the brink of a transformation, 
Flying cars, once a figment of science fiction, are now becoming a reality, with various companies around the globe racing to make this dream come true. Imagine for a moment, a world where flying cars zoom past skyscrapers, creating a network of aerial highways. This could drastically reduce traffic congestion on the ground and make commuting faster and more efficient. Companies like Uber and Airbus are working tirelessly on these projects, with prototypes already in testing stages. The introduction of flying cars could lead to a radical shift in urban planning. Cities would need to incorporate vertical infrastructure like landing pads and refueling stations. Existing roads could be repurposed for green spaces or pedestrian zones, leading to more livable urban environments. However, it's not all smooth flying. There are challenges that need to be addressed. For instance, the energy consumption of flying cars could be significantly higher than ground vehicles. This raises concerns about the environmental impact, especially if these vehicles are powered by fossil fuels. To mitigate this, companies are exploring electric propulsion and renewable energy sources. Furthermore, safety regulations and air traffic control systems would need a complete overhaul to accommodate flying cars. This would require close collaboration between various stakeholders, including governments, manufacturers, and urban planners. So are flying cars the silver bullet for our transportation woes? Perhaps not, but they certainly offer a tantalizing glimpse into a future where travel is not confined to the ground. Only time will tell if the sky is the next frontier for our daily commute. One thing is certain, the future of transportation is bound to be exciting.